what kind of person they are is going to be questioned beyond what's within reason. Put a white child in here right now today, child of color right here right now today, an entirely different experience for both children. Many different projections onto these children and regarding their capacities, their abilities, their inabilities, their futures. Which means that our job performance often stinks, that it's also often is inadequate, as if we're bringing our own prejudice or naivete or a lack of education to our own work, then we're not able to do it. Again and again in the school system, I've worked in several of them, children are brought to see counselors for a variety of different reasons, and sometimes they're justified, and very often they are not. And when they go in for a consult, and this happens to adults as well, they're seeing a consultant or a therapist who is clueless about their culture and who is in denial of racism or thinks that color doesn't make a difference. So, and being well-meaning is extremely dangerous. I really don't trust myself, well-meaning white people, regarding racism at all. So, the tolerance that I have to give that I have to bring everywhere I go enough with my consciousness about it is, is really tremendous. And some days I'm more tolerant than others. And I think that's so many people that I happen to know. Because one of the disappointing aspects of being a white person, as far as I'm concerned, is that as a white person, I see white people really hustling when they want to for something for themselves. If they need food stamps, they're going to find out where that food stamp office is and they're going to go get it. If they need a job, they need to ask for that search. If they want a certain apartment in a certain neighborhood, which is very popular and systemically racist, that is the result of classism also. And it is something that they're going to do. They're going to do that. But when it comes to racism, and when it comes to violence, and when it comes to people being murdered, and when it comes to people not being able to get jobs, then when it comes to health, and when it comes to housing, somehow they're collectively as a unit, and I can say this because I am white, white people seem to be clueless. they just don't know what to do. What do we do about racism? What are we supposed to do about it? I'm way too busy, I'm way too tired, I don't have the time to care about racism, I have my own issues. We have our own family dysfunctions in our family. But I do consider it everyone's responsibility to figure out what they can do about racism and they'll do it. The first place to do it is in your own families, because there's so much racism within your own families. So I definitely think it's important to bring up racism in your family and do reality checks with one another about where you're at about stuff. Because the news is full of it. The news is just full of it, and so is music. Black children are viewed as much older, less innocent, and more animalistic. Tamir Rice was just murdered a couple of weeks ago, and the mayor in his town had actually referred to him as an adult and said he looks much older than what his age actually was. This is another common dilemma, so that children of color are treated as if they are older than they actually are developmentally and older than they should be developmentally. Do you find that in the school system itself or in your own experience? Anybody? The expectations are kind of warped of children of color when compared to white children. White children are considered more innocent, they're considered safer, they're oftentimes considered more intelligent. But if people now care about bullying, I would have liked them to care about long, long, long ago, especially in regard to racism. Racism is extremely intense, and bullying and racism is extremely intense. So, um, so children of color are trying to adapt to racism, so they have this additional stress in their lives. And um, it's a stress that can hurt you emotionally, and psychically, and physically, and spiritually, because children need to learn to something that's apt to learning to adapt to white supremacy. So they're being integrated in a system that is determined to destroy them any which way they can. And in many instances, it managed it. 